All right, boom. Uh, yo, 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 what's going on? It's your main man, Humvee of the Truck Cast, and this is the Mental Health Awareness Fest 2019. We're here at Lucille's. Did you get you some blackened catfish and some shrimp and some grits? Did hey, you? I did. <laughs> I did. I was loving it. Actually, I'm hungry again. I want some more. <laughs> we have uh, two beautiful young ladies in the back of the truck. Go ahead and introduce yourself. I'm Shell. I am with Genius Gives, the foundation that sponsored and hosted this event. It was hey. fabulous. You yes. guys missed a great thing. Yes. Yes. yes, and I'm Corey. I came in from Toronto, Ontario to help support my good friend Duke with Genius Gives. Um, I also work with mental uh, illness and awareness and addiction awareness in Toronto. So it was a nice collaboration. I was so proud of them to see this event pulled off. They worked so hard. You guys did yes. amazing. Yes. Yeah, um, definitely. I'm, I'm just so... I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Yeah, <laughs> so I have to come out next year. Definitely. And... Um, yeah, Man. it's got a, it's an annual we, event yes, now. We had everything that you could think of: meditation, uh, resources, information. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Painting, music, anything you can think of to Poetry, calm your soul and speeches. Your mind. Yeah, yes. it was awesome. It was, it was good. Wonderful. It was All really about good. the mind. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, so you know we talk about relationships here on the truck cast. So uh, I've been asking everybody this question that's been jumping in the truck. Mm -hmm. Here we go. How do you deal with inner conflict when it comes to relationships? Well, inner, conflict. inner conflict for me yeah. I um, first I pray okay okay I have a good cry okay okay oh. okay and so, am I sitting I, in the front of the go, go ahead I ask for direction uh-huh before I speak and um come in that's very healthy <laughs> if y'all can fit y'all can fit yeah, we're, we're gonna get a lot of <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So the question I was asking everyone was, um, "What's up, y'all? How do you deal with inner conflict?" Shout out to King Duke. Hey, put King put your Duke. information out there. Oh, King Genius man. Gibbs. Oh, Thank man. you so hey, much, man, for inviting us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hold up. It's just genius. Yeah, yeah. Understand, yeah. man. We just had a historic event take place. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the entire team. They're the ones that made it possible. Yeah. Got Philip. Yeah. Shell, hey. Corey, all the way from Canada, and Min, yes. the magician yes. that was yeah. entertaining and wowing everybody, man. Shout out to Truck Podcast, man. Yeah. Truck Podcast, Truck Cast. You, you so guys much. are so beautiful, yeah. man. We did our Every, thing. Everything y'all yeah. do is just, it's just remarkable, man. You're a part of what we talk about. Thank you so about much. the genius, man. You're putting thought into how you deliver Definitely. information to change this world, man. So yep. everything yeah. went well. Yeah, that's shout powerful. out to everybody. <laughs> shout out to yes. everybody that showed up yeah. and signed our commemorative. Mural mm. that's going down in history. Hey. That's the first ever mental health awareness festival anywhere in the on the earth. Yeah. Houston, you came out, you showed out. Shout out to all our sponsors, supporters, yeah. Samsung, <laughs> Nami. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, there's a li list goes on. Sheriff County, nice. County thirteen. Sheriff County, Ooh. thank you, Sir team, <laughs> thank you. And what else, Shell? Everybody. 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 Yeah. Everybody. There's so many. I'm sorry. Everybody. But yeah. Musicians. Everything. I went counseling. Yes. Everything. I shout out to all the counselors. Sure shout out. Corner. Yes. Thank you. Artists with the artists. <laughs> AJ McQueen, Candle Joseph, Deuce Lee, B Honey, uh, Candlestick. Um, shout out to um, uh, 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 Big Reeks. Yeah. Shout out to Scratchy Scratch. Shout out to DJ Oreo for down. kicking off the event. And man, shout out to Reggie for getting the keys from me. You know what I'm saying? Reggie. And everybody else that was a part of this. This was just yeah. mind blowing. I'm so overwhelmed with so much love. Yes. It's, it's, I, I, it I'm phenomenal. speechless, man. Yeah. And yep. I thank y'all for just. You did your thing, brother. Man, and it was and it was a short note. It was just in need. Yeah. And we just insisted. My team, they came together like true, true change agents and made sure, even with the short time span, we did something to let people know. Help is here now. We're not waiting no longer. That's what I'm yeah. Corey flew all the way in from Canada. Yeah. But go ahead, man. That's Talk to you. This is your show, not mine. Yo, man. I, hey, man. I mean, okay, enter. <laughs> oh, so the question. Yeah. How do you no. deal with inner conflict when uh, when it comes to relationships? How do you deal with inner conflict? For me, yeah. uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It's honesty. always about honesty. I don't feel like I need to lie to you guys. No, no, you yeah. um, right, right, But right. the key for me, yeah. personally, is. Uh, you have to, uh, I, I guess you just got to listen, man. Kind of step outside of your own ego. Mm -hmm. And uh, you j it's not easy, especially right. if you have your own 
character and personality and way of viewing life. Mm. You you function in this capacity, and when you meet someone that doesn't think or wasn't raised the same way as you, uh, when they have expectations of what they want, and you're not taking a second to reflect mm. on how you can make that possible uh, it, it can become something just that that will be uncompromising and unworkable so that inner conflict man really is just like you said at yeah. the event it's all about communication yeah. it's about how you build that relationship man that's just what I feel I'm still single yeah. but I you know I love you know, I you know what love it takes huh? you know what it takes I know what it takes and I mean even though you know <laughs> You got to remember, we're all human beings that are evolving. Right. So it's like we know what we need, we, we need to do. But even though, no matter how much you think you know, mm-hmm. something may come in right. in place that may throw that all right. off off. No matter what you're thinking, it may not even apply to the person that you're, you're dealing with. Right. Yeah, and right. you yeah, must you get, you accept get that. Self-absorbed, right? Right. You so can't you, see past what you're what you're mm, dealing with. Right? One thing I'll mm-hmm. say, the other. not to cut you off, Corey. Mm-hmm. One thing I will say that I've, I've just, I believe that I started incorporating for a couple of years is that mm-hmm. I came to my own self-reflection and said that you know I believe that life truly uh, is about um, your experiences. Right. Mm-hmm. It's really about what you've been you've done for others right the true the true essence for me of life if you think about it you can cook for yourself all day but it really doesn't mean nothing to you to cook for someone else yeah when you cook for them and they eat it you right. there's a there's some there's some, sort of yeah. you know what i mean you cook for your kids you can eat all day or you can go without eating but you can go without eating right. cooking for your loved ones right. and stepping back and watching your our parents do it our mothers do it for us all the time right, right. and <laughs> yeah. you wonder it's like why haven't you eaten but you want to make sure it's just a fulfilling that's thing, it. Yeah. you know. That's it. Having all the money in the world, buying all the nice cars, it means nothing. But if you get a gift or you do something for someone, that to me is the true essence of what makes life that's memorable. It. So I, I, I like that. I definitely agree. I, I like that. that. I definitely agree. So can I? Can I? Can Jump I in. T- chime it's in. It's a love language. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I like that. So what so, is your love so, po- so pose that question one more time so the viewers, we all kind of make sure we're on the same page. Man is over there tucked away. <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> He's a magician, so he likes to disappear. So, so uh, I was asking, how do you deal with inner conflict in a relationship? Like, personally. Like, when you're dealing with certain stuff and you have another person that you or kind of like responsible for your significant other. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You guys got together for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, but you have anxiety, trauma, or something. Something's going on right. with yourself. And how do you deal with that when dealing with somebody else in a relationship? How do you deal yeah, with it? You, have to. Um, you know what? So, am I the only married person? Yeah, I, I, well, yeah I'm I used to be. Married. I okay. Divorce, <laughs> divorce. Okay. Divorce. Right. Divorcing. I'm divorced. I'm divorced. Divorce. Yeah, you married. married. Okay. Still married. Okay, up. so there's a lot of different, I'm you single. Know, okay. steps to that. That's Big up. single. I'm single, single. What do you... No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, is this now become a dating uh, talk? Nah, nah, so I it, think, it, it is, it is though. It, yeah, we do hook single. people up. We hook people up. We definitely. Single. We hook people uh, up for real. Uh, I'm taking. Go ahead. <laughs> run it. Run it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna come on an angle that may not necessarily be the most popular. Uh oh. But um, when we're talking about inner conflict and, and mm-hmm. others and and putting others first, right? Um, or how you deal with that. Um, so for me. Um, that all changed when I gave my life to Christ. Okay. Right? Okay. And so what ended up happening was I started embodying this idea of what Christ said about, you know, think of others more than you think of yourself. Of course. And then I get married. So <laughs> it's cool to hear it and it sounds great and all goody good. Right. But now you have a significant other who you are um, responsible for. Right. And we're not just talking uh, financially. We're talking about emotionally. Oh yeah. We're talking about security. Oh my goodness. Again, finance and security. People kind of get those two mm-hmm. things. You know, finances do bring about security, but we're just talking about security as far as right. how um, your significant other or your spouse. Right. How do they feel about the relationship? <laughs> do they feel secure? Do they feel like you, you have their back at all times? Do they mm-hmm. feel like they can come to you and? and express their deepest darkest fears or and not be judged and not be able to open up you know so um and i found that out Mm -hmm. when my wife came to me and told me that she doesn't feel like she can come to me with all things 
that kind of hurt me more than, you know, not being able to either have a job and, and provide all the time. So for me, um, once I started having to now live out this whole idea of being Christ-like or um, being a light or a child of God, mm-hmm. I now had to recognize mm-hmm. and say that, okay, I'm having this conflict and I'm, this is you, because you said personally, right? Right. Yeah. So I'm using mm-hmm. a real life example, uh, you know, Go a ahead. wife with kids. Um, I now had to recognize, okay, if, if I did something, let's say for instance, she doesn't like when I eat on the couch right? and because there's, it's, it sounds funny and, 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 and petty, but at the end of the day, it, it brings about friction and it brings about and roaches and rodents yeah right yeah, absolutely but the idea was right, that right, right. it bothered her and after a while she expressed it in her kind way as mm-hmm. she has before right but I wasn't really um, it didn't translate to me changing my behavior Okay? okay. So now what ends up happening is it's no longer about me eating on the couch. It now becomes, um, you know what? You're not listening to me anymore. You don't care about wow. the things that I care about. Mm. And now we're just not talking for some reason. And it all could have been avoided if I now began to say, you know what? If this is something that matters to her, how can I now decide to start? Because I felt like, hey... <laughs> Why not? I can do what I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, not necessarily that. Were that. you getting an inner conflict with that, though? What was your inner conflict when you were eating on the couch? Um, I felt like I've been working all day. <laughs> I came she back. Had, she had to reel him back in. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like, okay. yeah no. Like, I was inner trying to get to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he no, was thinking to himself, I'm upset. I'm yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. I had a rough day. And that translated into your wife is like, get your yeah, ass nah, off my it's, couch eating. And it, it, it <laughs> that, that's how he did. No, well, that's did. not how to deal with it. <laughs> no, no. So what I'm saying is that as a, as a, I'm, I'm trying to walk you through yeah. something that became a small issue, right. and they it catapulted exactly. into yeah. something that now yeah. there's a conflict. We're not talking anymore because of a root cause that could have been dealt with mm. earlier. So now I'm back trying to think, okay, as a Christ, a child of God, do I approach that? Do I now right. say, you know what, I'm sorry. Let me let's let's sit down and talk about this. What right. was really the problem? Right. Um, um, and let's let's discuss ways that we can just talk talk it through. So now I need to now if we're talking about resolving the issue, yeah. I'm now starting to think. Okay, what would Christ do now Come in this on, situation? Wife. Right? What, what would Christ do in this situation <laughs> now that I find that we're now beefing for something? Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Now I have to say, okay, let me step back. It's not about me, even if I, I feel like I was right. Right. It's not even about me being right anymore. Mm, it's, now be, it's now about me stepping back and saying, you know what? It, you know what? I, I do apologize. Even though back to the couch, though they want to derail me off of the couch, <laughs> right? <laughs> even though back to the couch, I got to the point where I was like, it's comfortable for me to watch TV and eat popcorn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up afterwards. But she still doesn't want me to sit on the couch. Dyson. Right. So yeah, now, <laughs> you're not, I'm just saying. So now I have to, is it ego now? What is you making know, me not want to do that? Right? So now that's what for me. got to get you on the show. You know what I mean? Real <laughs> for me, you know what I mean? It ended up becoming, life is now bigger than me. Right, 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 right. Let me now think of others first. Yeah. Let me step back and get my ego out of the way. And so that's for me, mm-hmm. how I deal with inner conflict. It co- it's, 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 it's Christ-centered. So that's kind okay, of really okay, where mine okay, is coming from. Okay. Ah, squeeze it. Squeeze. Squeeze. Wow. Humvee. Okay. That's that. That question definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you 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 asked everybody. You had, you had a rebuttal. You Man. had a rebuttal. I have a rebuttal. I'm you just saying squeeze. inter conflict. Squeeze what? Squeeze that. Um, squeeze this part. Let me see. It is very important how to deal with that when yeah. you're in a relationship because. Yeah. I like to say permission to speak yeah. freely here. Go ahead. I've taught my kids their inner conflict deals with leaking your bitch. Leaking your bitch. Yeah. So when you're having an inner conflict mm-hmm. and you're dealing with this and you're not telling anybody else or something's going on, it leaks. 
Oh, oh, and the things that you do. Yeah, so right. it's leaking gotcha. onto gotcha. someone else, right? Okay. And then it may come out good, bad, whatever, right. we don't know. Most mm -hmm. of the times it's not good if it's an inner conflict, right? Right. And so I've seen this with like my daughter before. Mm -hmm. She had a bad day at school and that was her inner conflict, right? Like she had anxiety about something and then she gets in the car and she leaked that bitch on me. So how do we help people that stop that and they, 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 they you know, stop hmm. to take a deep breath, recognize your inner conflict before you interact with your person in your relationship? Right? Mm. How do you do that? How do you think? Well, you have to get the tools. You have to stop and you have to talk to yourself and you have to mm. say, okay, I have to check myself right now. Mm. I'm going to leak so something on somebody. I'm going to mistreat right. somebody that I care about and I love okay. and that takes a lot of power in your a, mind a lot right and that's where like with mental illness and stuff we can help yeah. people because right. they don't recognize that and and, mm -hmm. and, and they can't help it it's not like it's just something genetically in them so of course we yeah. can't they, they feel they bad about be that. themselves yeah. and right yeah. so I think where that can all tie mm -hmm. in right um, if you can help somebody at that moment that can be a pivotal thing for a relationship yeah Man, what you have to say, man? Uh, I, 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 I listen to a lot of zigzag. I listen to a lot of <laughs> motivational. DB. Uh, what up, DB? Where you at, man? <laughs> what, 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 oh. hey, what's up, man? Uh, what you think, man? So I listen to, I listen to a lot of personal development, and I listen to a guy named Zig Ziglier. Yeah. And what he says the most is, um, someone is kicking your cat. As in, like, if you had a bad day, it's not because of you. It's because of someone... Cause them a bad day that they were acting that way. Mm -hmm. So I was saying to your story, like, what well, was she mad about you being on the couch? Like, that it wasn't about that couch. It wasn't about the couch, man. You don't something, think it was about something, the couch? Something, something, must something have else happened. I, mm. like, on, it, it can't be a car, bro. Yeah, I mean, like hey, the couch been there for a long time, so it, it yeah. can't be about the couch. She probably has an, having an inner conflict. She's, right, but I'm having an inner conflict and as well. And you're having one too, and because, then it's like, it's like a don't, catapult into disaster, right? right? And, like and, it gets leaked here, right. it gets leaked there, and then, okay, it's not. It, it manifests on that thing, and it's like, well, that wasn't important. You told Damn, me. Damn, that inner conflict, man. Yeah. Wow. So that's why like, that question is <laughs> Go, a good question. Oh. It's super deep. It's like, deep, man. Because it's like people don't under, they don't think about like like he, like, hour like hour he said like hey, it was I'm like <laughs> he he was. Paula, you got to put your information out there before you leave. Go ahead. Oh, finish, but, but, finish, finish, yeah, finish. but he was just real quick. All I just feel like you're piggybacking off what Philip said was. You got to realize that, yeah, like men said, she complained about that. But then, really, really, what did she finally, after he, Philip went back and sat down with her and then asked her, like, how can we, let's talk about this, what's going on. She didn't just talk about the couch. Definitely. He didn't go into that. Mm. She talked about an array of things. Obviously. Right. So that goes back to what men were saying. So it really wasn't the couch. The couch just probably, and this tying this back to mental health. Shout out to everybody that came out to the Mental Health Awareness Festival. Yeah, no. But... Totally. She had been letting that bottle, that been, that mm. part been bottled in. Right. Mm. What all the other things that really bothered her were bottled, and the couch is probably the only thing she felt she can bring up that won't, won't maybe in her mind won't make things spiral out of control. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you now bring that up. Right. I don't want you eating on the couch, okay. and well, now close the door. Good. Oh shoot, sir. Keep going. Keep going. I gotta um, slam it. And uh, and now so. Now she's holding on to that and, and bringing that up. But at least he was cognizant enough to because he cared back to what he was saying, thinking about more, it's not being selfish anymore. You got to be thinking, of, like, what's wrong? Like, 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 uh, you know what I mean? What's Cause really going on? Yeah, because it can't be this couch. Right. Like, uh, like, what? And then now the two of them are now talking and now she now can more comfortably know that all right, he, he wants to talk now. So maybe I can bring it up now yeah, versus right. out the blue one day he's eating. Yeah. And then she says, man, I can't believe the other day you did it, it, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't have the, the gumption and she's, a, I, I know his wife. She's yeah. such a sweet person. Right. And our family, we're a lot more confrontational. We like to attack the issue and move right. on. Yeah. We don't have time. the same way. You feel me? We don't like have time. That. To, we don't like time. And women to, don't like that though. Most people, this, that's not okay, no, okay, don't most, generalize. I like that. I just said most. Corey, Corey goes like that. All. Right. So he's not, he's not right. chauvinistic. Right. Right. He, and, he's big, but he's not chauvinistic. And I want to. But uh, good. Don't be chauvinistic. Can I, can I chime something in? And I don't know if you have another uh -huh. uh, question. After no, I'm gonna just. No, this is it. This is. This yeah. Is, how this. long does a podcast last for? Truck pad. The truck cast. Like, yeah, we truck normally do it for about sixty minutes or longer. Like, yeah. Oh, is it live streaming? 
Uh, no, I'm just putting just straight video yeah, and then right. you're gonna put it, yeah, put it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So to your point, so because we're talking about the inner conflict, mm -hmm. and remember now it's not even really about me. Mm -hmm. At least from that perspective of putting others before me. Right. It is a very tough concept. Yeah. And the reason why I asked you why, how does somebody do that? How does I didn't know. The only way I could was when I started saying, you know what, let me let me follow these ways of Christ. Mm -hmm. And kind of follow those. Right, Besides right. that, to I don't have the. So I don't ha faith. Right. I don't faith have. Right. I, I, yeah. I don't have the tools. I don't know how. Like just knowing out out of the blue, like talk to yourself. Do the, no, why, I should have been. Your, it wasn't yeah, in your realm. Right. I should have been doing right. that right, if right, it was right. that simple. And so, what it forced me to do is, oh, you claim to be a Christian now, mm -hmm. right? So wow. now you're at home. Nobody's watching. Right. And if my wife has inner conflict, I have inner conflict of course. because that means she's not. We're not. Oh yeah. Because you know, you're trying to figure out why she it, exactly. And the longer we don't talk about whatever's yeah. eating at her, mm -hmm. I'm now getting irritated. Mm -hmm. Or like he said, right. my, right. my former self, I would have my own ego. And oh, you don't want to talk? I'm not going to talk. And the more I don't talk, I'm <laughs> getting upset. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hate yeah. That. And then it turns into this invisible war that happened from. From crumbs on the couch, from nothing. Yeah. See, oh, and then, and, and then what's crazy there. is that some people is about humping that. So then it comes back to mental because this is a mental health festival that we yeah. ended. Yeah. It all comes back to that. Were you able to actually take a second in your rage and your confusion and your disappointment of the other person mm -hmm. and actually yeah. assess yourself? Mm -hmm. Because it's not, spiral, it's not. You can the the, stuff, the right? key yeah. way to love on people is not about trying to figure out what they should have done. Figure out what you could have done to help and make it easier for them. Yeah. That is it. You see, yeah, that's, it. that's it. And that's what I got from Christianity. I know, Ooh. I know. You everyone believes in. For it. Yeah, that's everyone. Amazing. Everyone has their own beliefs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just. This is an overflow of when I, Christ came into me, and I have to say it, and yeah, I know it's not yeah, popular, yeah. but that's what helped me. It wasn't any other. Right. Well, that's what just like everybody know? finds their vessel. Like right. Right. for you, it's Christ. For mm -hmm. you, it's a truck cast. For right. you, it's like you know, giving the back to charity, yeah. the foundation. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think your point is excellent. Yeah, it's all yeah. valid. Right. I was hoping yeah. hey, not off topic. That was no, all. not at all. I think you're wonderful too. She flew all the way from yeah, Canada. She's absolutely really amazing. Cool. Put your information out there so they yeah, can follow. Let them know. Okay, wait, wait. Let them know about all the big stuff we got coming, planning. Yeah. Oh, Let them know okay. about your the foundation that we're going to be partnering also, up with. I also Instagram. work for a foundation, uh, the Drive Foundation in, in Ontario. Ontario! Ontario. Ontario. Oh. We're going to be moving that over across the international as well. We're going to no. collaborate with H Town, man. And we're going to be doing some, I hope to like, we hope to collaborate and like get some people talking, getting into schools, telling their stories. I feel like that motivates kids Definitely. to help with their mental health. Like these are all good things. Um, She's a pharmacist. So pharmacist. she knows. And my mom of four. Hey, wow. two, two boys, two, two girls. Not What's two. your IG? What's your Instagram? My Instagram Goodness. is K Smithsta, K S M I T S M I T H S T A. Oh my spell. goodness, Smith. Like, like that's K because Smith I got two sisters. Instead of calling ourselves sisters, we call ourselves the Smithsters. Uh, oh, she looks amazing. I'm a Smithsta. For uh, uh, tell them how old you are. Yeah, Mission Gangster by birth. You know what I'm saying? Detroit. <laughs> hey. Hey. Go ahead From and brag beach. on your age. Tell them. And I'm 45. What? She doesn't yeah. look at you at all. all. She doesn't and she's single. Shit. And I'm single. Hey! Tone down. Okay. Sit back. Oh, <laughs> Sean's gonna hey. get mad. Sean's Sean. gonna get mad. What up, Sean? Hey, Sean out there, like, all our people out, out there in London. We um, we're here. Somebody, Sean. We're gonna bring Nigeria, the truck cast. up? Hey. All the way out. Um, so real. we're gonna be bringing you're them out here. Trust me. We're gonna yeah. interview all you guys out there that been trying to kill the same thing. I love y'all. I gotta go. I don't know about the rest of them. Pump so B. Right hey, 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 this is right here, man. Damn. This is real. This That's is the way racing. you maximize Definitely. technology. This is innovation right yeah. here, right Definitely. now. Oh, Definitely. yeah, I agree. I agree. You are awesome. All you thank people. You. Proud hey, to be you. involved with us tonight. Thank you. Peace. 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 Genius Gives. Genius Gives. Foundation. Follow us on all social media platforms. Genius, G E N I U S, Gives, G I V E S. On all social IG. Snapchat, uh, uh, Instagram, um, uh, Facebook, it, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, uh, you, uh, on on YouTube, 
Yeah. We're posting going. stuff and we got a lot more events lot. coming y'all way. It's we're about to change the world, man. Yes. And we're going to do it together. It's not just going to be us, you two, viewing this right there now. There it is. Man. Podcast joined us on the mission. Mm-hmm. We're about to mess up this Ooh, thing, there man. It is. Where's his shirt at? Yeah. Where's his shirt at, though? You know what I'm saying? Where's his shirt at? Got to, I Were got you it. part of the festival? Yes. <laughs> Were you even part of the festival? Yes. Where's your shirt at? I got the shirt. Before you said, it's in the back. It's in the back. Oh, it's in the back. Hey, Corey, my shirt. You got your shirt? There, you got shirt. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. It's your main man, Humvee. The Truck Cast. We coming back for more of the Mental Health Awareness Fest 2019. Thank you. First Jesus. ever. First Thank ever. Thank you for joining epic. us to make it history. You're, you're, you're part of history. Everybody's about to history. Making history, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men. Thank you.